SpaceX has emerged as a leading figure in cultural innovation in the global aerospace sector. Over the past few years, the company has secured numerous high-profile contracts from NASA and the Pentagon. However, Elon Musk's recent comments about the potential cancellation of the Dragon spacecraft, the centerpiece of many U.S. missions, have caused confusion among these agencies, prompting them to look for alternative options. Although Musk walked back his comments hours later, the situation has not been completely resolved. So what steps have NASA and the Pentagon taken in response, and can these organizations effectively replace SpaceX or the Dragon spacecraft? Let's discuss this on today's episode of NR Studio. On June 6th, Musk expressed his frustration in a strongly worded statement, announcing the immediate cessation of Dragon spacecraft operations. Accompanying his tweet was an image that referenced Donald Trump's comments on social media, suggesting that cutting grants and contracts to Musk Ventures would be the best way to preserve government funding. Trump's comments were aimed directly at Musk, suggesting restrictions on Musk company's future growth in the U.S. As expected, Musk's statements sent shockwaves through the U.S. space community and among partners, given Dragon's significant influence. NASA and Pentagon officials quickly reached out to SpaceX and its competitors to inquire about the status of their spacecraft. Even after Musk made it clear that he would not cancel Dragon, concerns within the agencies remained high. A NASA official said that while the clash between Trump and Musk had initially been humorous, Musk's suggestion of shutting down Dragon turned the situation into a worrisome one. A Pentagon official echoed this sentiment, recalling a moment of realization among staff when they understood the seriousness of the development. SpaceX has been a critical partner for NASA, providing cargo and crew transportation to the International Space Station, ISS, while the Pentagon relies on SpaceX to launch sensitive satellites. Given this dependence, the urgency to consider alternatives was high. According to the Washington Post, after Musk's statement, both NASA and the Pentagon reached out to a number of commercial space companies, including Rocket Lab, Stoke Space, and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, to assess their launch capabilities. Additionally, Sierra Space executives confirmed that NASA has inquired about their Dream Chaser vehicle, which is designed to carry cargo and crew to the ISS and return safely to the runway. This proactive approach highlights NASA and the Pentagon's determination to diversify their partnerships and not remain reliant on a single platform as they navigate an increasingly competitive and volatile space environment. With potential contract threats still looming over SpaceX, exploration by companies like Blue Origin and Sierra Space could be critical to ensuring the stability of U.S. space missions. The rapid pace of technological development coupled with the entry of new competitors is poised to reduce reliance on a single company and expand partnership opportunities. This shift will invigorate the market like never before. However, the specifics surrounding the ongoing competition among the major players remain ambiguous, with no clear complaints or responses outlined. What is clear, however, is the impact of this dynamic, which serves as a stark reminder of the uncertainty inherent in such collaborations, where political factors can greatly affect technological progress and operational viability. The proactive steps taken by NASA and the Pentagon illustrate a strategic effort to mitigate potential future risks amidst increasing uncertainty. Their goal is to foster a more diverse competitive landscape, specifically encouraging private companies, which infuse creativity and innovation across the market. As the sector becomes more diverse, competition is producing a larger set of techniques tailored to meet diverse demands and contracts while costs are also becoming more manageable. Near space technology is no longer confined to a handful of dominant entities. However, this diversification presents challenges for NASA and the Pentagon, which must allocate investments across multiple companies to ensure timely technological advances for multiple missions. This approach is, of course, a long-term financial commitment, one that is likely to put significant strain on government budgets especially given the vast expenditures associated with aerospace technology. The costs of acquiring resources, compensating personnel, and conducting research, each of which requires significant time and effort, are enormous. A prime example is Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket, which underwent an 11-year development period, ultimately resulting in just one launch on January 16, 2025. The extended timeline sought to avoid further delays, but the maiden flight did not go as planned as the rocket's upper stage reached orbit, but its booster exploded, 
while attempting to land on an unmanned ship at sea. Following the incident, Blue Origin revealed that the Federal Aviation Administration had ordered an investigation, which resulted in the identification of seven corrective actions. Blue Origin CEO Dave Lim announced that the company would make another attempt to land and recover the rocket's booster during New Glenn's second flight, which is expected no earlier than mid-August. He revealed that the upcoming mission, scheduled for August 15th, has been dubbed Don't Tell Me the Odds for Tail 2, with the primary goal of successfully recovering the rocket's boosters, a task that will require both luck and precise execution. Additionally, Limp said the company is on track to produce eight GS-2 rockets this year, with one having undergone a hot-firing test in April. In a related announcement, NASA fiscal year 2026 budget proposal, released May 30th, reaffirmed the selection of New Glenn to carry out the agency's Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers escapade mission. NASA's upcoming escapade mission launch has been pushed back to coincide with the second launch of Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket largely due to development delays that have impacted the rocket's schedule. According to official documentation, NASA is currently reworking the mission's schedule and budget, with Escapade's anticipated launch readiness date projected for the fourth quarter of fiscal year 2025. In the realm of groundbreaking aerospace technology, the Dream Chaser spacecraft stands out as a sleek, agile vehicle with an ambitious goal. Developed with NASA support, the Dream Chaser is engineered for rapid reusability using commercial aircraft landing methodologies. Drawing on decades of experience, its design was inspired by NASA's HL-20 and the Soviet Union's Buran. Weighing in at around 20,000 pounds and measuring 30 feet long, the Dream Chaser is significantly smaller than the Space Shuttle, which was 122 feet long. This reduction in size comes with technical advantages, resulting in easier maintenance and faster turnaround times. Sierra Space, the company behind the Dream Chaser, is targeting a remarkable utilization rate of 15 flights per vehicle or even more. Originally scheduled to debut in 2021, Dream Chaser's maiden flight, SNC Demo-1, was intended to take place atop United Launch Alliance's ULA Vulcan Centaur rocket. However, as of 2025, Dream Chaser is still stuck in the final stages of development, with uncertainty surrounding its participation in the second Vulcan launch. The Vulcan rocket has faced several delays, most notably due to a setback in Blue Origin's BE engine delivery, which has slowed down its licensing and launch schedule. Nonetheless, ULA CEO Tori Bruno expressed confidence, stating that the company expects to conduct about a dozen launches in 2025, a mix of missions aboard Atlas and Vulcan rockets for national security and commercial clients. We're ready and we're ready, and when that spacecraft arrives, we'll be able to fly it, he said. Notably, Dream Chaser's launch date could fall as early as the fourth quarter of 2025, as the first Dream Chaser spacecraft, named Tenacity, is nearly ready to fly, awaiting its launch opportunity aboard a Vulcan rocket. On the other hand, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft presents a stark contrast. Once criticized for delays and repeated technical issues, Starliner is now positioned as a potential alternative. In 2014, NASA gave Boeing $4.2 billion to develop the Starliner crew capsule, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion for its Crew Dragon system. However, despite Boeing's significant engineering prowess, Starliner has struggled to match Dragon's accomplishments. The ongoing challenges have led to criticism of the investment, as taxpayer dollars appear to have been wasted on a project that has consistently failed. The situation reached a critical low point in 2024, when a Starliner incident nearly endangered two astronauts en route to the International Space Station, ISS. The astronauts ended up having to stay longer on the ISS while Starliner returned to Earth without a crew. As the aerospace industry continues to grow, all eyes will be on these missions and vehicles, hoping that successful launches will meet the ambitious goals set by NASA and its partners. In the realm of space exploration, a landmark incident occurred when a spacecraft originally designed with the capability to self-destruct for safety in space, successfully returned to Earth in 2025. NASA and Boeing had initially set a goal of launching the ambitious Starliner project in late 2025. However, the spacecraft experienced major problems with its propulsion system during its orbital journey, problems that are still not well understood. 
To date, the agencies involved have not provided a clear explanation of the core problems plaguing Starliner or the steps they will take to fix them. Their latest updates reflect a cautious stance, lacking any firm commitments. They have only assured stakeholders that an evaluation is underway regarding whether future Starliner missions will carry crew or cargo. Furthermore, plans for a targeted test campaign are being reviewed for the coming spring and summer months. However, a growing concern is whether Starliner will have enough time to dock with the International Space Station, ISS, which is due to retire in 2030, leaving only five years left. Compounding this uncertainty, the White House has proposed a 2% reduction in NASA's budget for fiscal year 2026, effectively cutting more than $500 million from the ISS program alone. This budget adjustment is driven by the perceived need to transition to a privately operated space station, which positions NASA as a customer rather than an operator. As a result, the budget cuts set the stage for a reduction in the ISS crew and its onboard research capabilities, paving the way for the station's safe retirement in 2030 and replacement with a commercial alternative. As such, the White House has indicated that the frequency of crew and cargo flights to the ISS would be significantly reduced the station's reduced research capacity would be redirected to initiatives vital to lunar and Mars exploration. If this contingency plan were to be enacted, it would require significant involvement from NASA and the Pentagon. Elon Musk's bold statements about the potential cancellation of the Dragon program have raised suspicions. Whether it is mere bluster or genuine consideration remains to be seen. However, if an accident were to occur in the scenario outlined, it could create a much more precarious situation for NASA, especially if reliance on a single SpaceX vehicle were to be ruled out. The rush to replace critical assets often leads to compromised designs, ultimately reducing the success rate of deployments and increasing the likelihood of failure, unfortunate outcomes that no one wants. In conclusion, the partnership between the Dragon spacecraft and the Falcon 9 rocket remains the foundation for ensuring confident and efficient human research missions in orbit a combination that stakeholders hope will continue to thrive amid these complex challenges. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.